the magical stick in ancient Egypt is connected with the sun god in his trip and who's in danger to many dangers before he's reborn each day. Although the knives or sticks were used in curing diseases or in healing. In addition, we could say that the stick or the magical sticks were covered with the scenes and figures that were not related to the basic magical jobs in addition to the texts. What's interesting is that these figures and creatures were pictured in an unusual odd way on purpose, which gives a weird impression when someone looks at them. The most important shape is the imaginative animal who has a composite body in the form of a lion with the head of a falcon and a bent tail. Coming out of its sides, two spread wings, like two giant fans, and in the middle a human head. The giant called Aha means a fighter and is represented in the form of Bess. That giant catches in his hands a serpent and his tail is shown and maybe his productive organs too. There could be a copy accompanying him in a feminine form and with wild rabbits instead of snakes. The lioness is a small god and it traps between its front paws one of the snakes. The hippo goddess stand on lion's legs and holds the signs of protection between her front legs. The female of the tiger with the neck of the snake is an animal that's composite just like El Anka and is characterized with his long neck and is topped with the head of the female of the tiger. Usually, the general design of the ivory knives has a head of an animal of the doggy type on the pointed edge and the head of a lion or a leopard on the wide edge.